Hey guys, I'm HP. This is Dr. Pink. Today I'm going to talk about Easy Pro Long Meter Rock Guitar Licks. What's that? Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, and also join the HP Crazy Guitar Academy with a free member account or a premium member account. So, what are we talking about today? Rock Guitar. Yeah, stuff like that a great add to your normal soloing because I mean you can play really simple stuff I'm gonna show you the licks and then how to use them with your normal soloing it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be great it's gonna be rock guitar okie dokie um, we are in a track in A minor um, so first of course of all you need to know the scale of course it's A minor 7 <laughs> and also a blue scale so let's check it out um, I quickly reduce the distortion level um, of course you need to know the A minor scale best uh, with three note per string that goes like this and also check out my fingering so it's really simple uh, each one finger per fret if you have four frets, like on the D string, then you use index, middle, pinky, and so on. See? Now you move to the B string on the sixth fret, same thing. And now in the seventh fret, and then slide up to the twelfth. So. On back. So that will be three note per string A minor scale. Now practice them in sixty notes. So taka 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 ta. Back. In sixty notes. Now comes the trick. You. You play the low strings with palm mute technique, so you have your hand here. And like on the B or E string, you start to release the damping by just moving your hand a little bit down. You can also slide up here in the tw in the 70 to get to the uh, also cool effect. really cool effect and I've played without delay now if you have this really cool with delay and the track and the full palm muting it's really cool effect Um, the long meter, um, the long meter rocky tolics are really meant as bridges from A to B. Just move from down till up here, and it's a really cool effect. And you just need of it going fluently. And when you play palm muted stuff, remember you have a one, two, three, four, one, two, exit on the first one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like now here, I mean, you don't really hear the notes so much, but it's just an effect. And then we, when you get in the hypers, you start to release the damp palm you do. Okay. And then it's really cool. You can play also normal A minor pentatonic stuff and then use this lick to connect the low A minor pentatonic position to the high. A minor pentatonic position. See, 
really works in a cool way to connect positions. Another cool thing, I when I play rock guitar and I want to highlight a melody line, I often play on the top E string. And so you need to know the A minor scale uh, on the top E string. So that will be like this. And then when you can do that, you play something like this. So you play three notes and slide in the next position. And the higher you get, the more you switch your pick a little bit like this and start to create slight pinch harmonic tones. This way you create more tension on your runs, okay? And this is how it sounds with a track at the ending. You can also just use half of it and then continue to play there. Now let's integrate the first run and the second run and in, the in between we just play normal A minor pentatonic, okay? And that's way cool. I mean, I know it's professional stuff, but it's, I mean, it's not so hard to play even, uh, you know, and it's not, honestly, not much more needed. So we start with pentatonics. Now what did I do now? The third um, long meter run was was just the blue scale. Started here from the third fret, palm muted. Three, five, three, five, six, seven, five, seven, five, seven, eight, nine, eight, ten, eight, ten, eleven. And slide up here in the seventeen. And then you can start to play mel melodic stuff on the top string because you learn the scale on one string. It's a really nice effect. So let's put all this good to together. So, I mean, I mean, the stuff is really simple once you have it in your fingers, um, but the hard part is, is the tone control, that you really can switch between palm muted technique and get into these pinch harmonics on the top E string, which is not always so easy. You, then you can play any kind of melodic lines on the top string. Then you go back to this run. <laughs> or uh, which was the other one again? Oh, this. And these three runs are really enough and the rest you do in a melodic way. Yeah, guys, these were the three pro uh, long meter rock guitar. <laughs>
Lex. <laughs> um, if you can do these three, you have way enough to impress your audience. I mean, it's of course cooler to have more, it's also cooler to have variations on that, but once you have these three together, you still can start variations on those. You know, right? Whatever comes to your mind. I know for some of you this might be a technical challenge, but it's worth really taking the challenge because it brings you further into a more sophisticated playing, you know, by, uh, by really playing long meter stuff, you can start to connect positions. I mean, one connection is between one low, one pentatonic position one low, and position one high. And uh, from time, from the more you play, the more you also see the other positions in between. But for the beginning, you can use those licks. to connect the positions and that you don't uh, jump from low to high and that's what it's all about. Yo, one more to say if you want to download that backing track and the tabs of the licks which I just showed to you, they're available in the HP Crazy Guitar Academy, please join there with a premium member account to download the stuff but also with a free member account because you have way more possibilities there to get into the learning process at the HP Crazy Guitar Academy. Good. Me and Dr. Pink are saying goodbye and we're gonna play a little bit more for you at the ending just freely and see you guys. <laughs>